Yo Wagwan, hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm gonna be reviewing and giving you an overview of Samcart. I'm gonna be going through the features of Samcart, sharing my experiences with it, letting you know who it's right for and who it's not right for, as well as looking at the pricing and letting you know whether it's actually worth the price. I have been using Samcart for just about a year, like it's, it's 10 days off a year at the moment, but I've been using it for a while, so I've got a lot of in-depth knowledge and behind the scenes info that I can give to you that will help you make the decision of whether you should use Samcart or not. Now, if you don't know who I am, I'm Jay Carter Ray from jaycarteray.com, teaching you how to be better at music, marketing, and online business. This is the number one spot for musicians and creators that don't wanna be starving artists. So if that sounds like you, stick around, click that subscribe button, check out the rest of the content on the channel because you will love it here. Now, as I said before, I've been using Samcart for about a year and Samcart is really, really good for people who have high ticket items that they want to sell or yeah basically if you've got digital products that you want to sell and they're in the like they go up to at least a hundred dollars like if you've only got one seven dollar product you probably shouldn't get some cut at this point in time but if you've got like seven seven dollar products and then you know a five hundred dollar product or whatever then some cut might be right for you but if you're trying to create an online store where you have multiple products that people can just search through and pick products and add it to their cart and then check out some cart is not for you you do not want some cart for that this is not a good option a good option is selfie and i'll be making a review on that i'll link that in the description or in the cards so that you can check out that if that's what you want to do if you want to create a fully fledged online store some cart is more focused on the marketing aspects and getting people to buy basically sales and stuff like writing good copy and having high convert in checkout pages so you have your sales page you create a sales page on your website and then samcart is the checkout page so you go to the sales page and they click the buy button then it goes to samcart let me actually show you an example of how i use samcart so that you can kind of understand what samcart is doing here and what it's good for so let's go to my uh, course YouTube for noobs. My new course will be out soon. You probably don't care about this. <laughs> probably not. You might be a YouTuber, but you probably don't want to grow a gaming channel if you're watching this at this point in time. You probably want to know how to make your own beats and whatnot. I'm making a course on that. And I'll be using Samcart to do that as well. But this is the sales page. So the sales page is basically to convince people to buy it, to give them the information that they need to know whether it's for them or not. And then after that, like you tell your story and all that sort of stuff, you've got a button to allow them to get to the checkout page to actually purchase whatever you're selling. So if we click this, it will open a checkout page in another tab. This is actually Samcart now. So this is what Samcart does. It creates, it allows you to create checkout pages like this, which you can use their variety of templates. Now they're trying to allow you to create it from the ground up. I highly suggest against that because I don't believe their new content page builder is good enough. I prefer just using their templates. And if you want to use a page builder, I will suggest you use Thrive Themes. I've got a review on that. I'll link that down below as well. It's just a much better page builder. You can use Thrive Architect for that. Save yourself some money. But basically, this is a checkout page so you can enter your information and your billing information and then you click this button and then you get sent to the thank you page and you'll get enrolled in the course and you can set up payment plans so as you can see here we've got the course at 497 dollars or you can pay 197 today and then three three payment plans of 100 dollars. you can do that using samcart it allows you to do that it's got a lot of things built in that allow you to sell high ticket items or like you can sell subscriptions to it as well, but I haven't personally done that, so I can't really talk on that. But this is basically what it's for. If you're selling a bunch of low ticket items, you probably want an online store, unless you're selling them in a way 
that you're trying to upsell people to buy more high ticket items. So <laughs> I think I've given you enough information on basically who Sam Cart's for and all that sort of stuff. Let's get into Sam Cart basically. Let's go through its sales page and we'll see what's going on. By the way, if you do want to sign up to Sam Cart now and just try it out, go to growonyoutube.com forward slash Sam Cart. Link will be in the description as well. You can get a 14 day free trial. Try it out and see what's up. So basically it says the first full featured e-commerce software built exclusively for sellers who do not need the catalog store. What it's saying here is basically it's so you can sell stuff, but it's not for people who need a catalog store. As I was telling you, a catalog store is when you can see the whole catalog of items. You can add it to your cart and check out and that sort of stuff. It's not for those people, as I've already showed you. So basically what Sam Cart's set main benefit is it gives you a bunch of templates which are supposed to be conversion optimized so that more people will follow through and actually buy once they hit that checkout that checkout page they give you stuff like you're able to display testimonials on your checkout page which is really good for getting people giving people that extra push to get them to buy because they got that social proof and you can also add sales copy to your checkout page and it all looks pretty good like it looks pretty nice you can add bullet points for the course so here's what you get with the course and then has testimonials and then you can add your guarantee as well this is a pretty good checkout page because it hits a lot of points that will basically reduce objections like you've got the money back guarantee we've got uh, these secure icons we've got testimonials of other people who've been through the system we've got uh, bullet points to make it more intriguing to get people to actually purchase of course and up here we've got a little bit of copy to basically you know tell people what's going to go on now now and what they need to do to get into the course so what sam cart does is it provides you with a bunch of these um things let me go into my sum cart and see if we can just basically go through some of these now so let's create a new test product we'll make this like 97 dollars and we'll create it and in here in order to actually see all the different themes and stuff we just go to check out design and as i said they're trying to make you use this drag and drop builder it's honestly, it's whack right about now. Like, it's not for me. I rather their whole selection of templates. They've got a few, and I, I think I'm using this one, one page funnel, for my actual uh, checkout page over here. But they got a variety of different ones, and you can just preview them like this, and see, you know, the different types of templates that you can start with. And then once you start with the template. You can basically just edit different things like the colors, the button color. I generally just do like header color, headline color, button color. You can add a logo. You can add a image file for the actual product, but this is not on this page. It's on the product details page. And you can basically pick what information you need from your customers. So if you need their phone number, you can have that or you can turn that off. You can add email confirmation just in case someone accidentally puts in the wrong email address. So, and then you can change the checkout button text. You can enter your bullet points here. Here's the title of the bullet points. So here where I say, here's what you get with this course. I've already entered, that's my title that I've entered in. And then you can add it, add each bullet point as many as you need. And you can add your own custom bullet point image if you want to do that. You can add a testimonial title and add testimonials i believe there's yeah you can add a picture here so you can basically get this up there that's how you get the picture there you just upload the picture on the testimonials and here's the custom content that you can basically add copy before everything and this is what's going on here just some instructions to let people know how to actually purchase and you can add other terms and conditions checkbox and all this sort of stuff which basically allows you to just make a checkout page really easily and include all the things that you need to make it as 
efficient as possible to get as many people to click through and actually purchase as possible so that's why i like sam car the whole thing that they're trying to do with the new content builder they're not there yet so if you want to buy something so that you can build your own checkout page from the ground up you can use some cart to be honest it's just super slow and tedious to use their builder at the moment i don't like it it's not what i want it to be but their templates are pretty good and they allow you to get set up really really quickly now you can sell everywhere as they say but basically you're just sending people straight to a checkout page and yes you can edit this checkout page and add the copy that you want up here if you don't need to add a bunch of copy but if you're selling a high price item you should be creating a fully fledged checkout page i mean a fully fledged sales page with enough information to convert people over to actually purchase that item but that's up to you basically so they do allow you to do that you can create like a sales slash checkout page but there's not enough there for me to personally make my checkout pages using some cart it's it seems very limited and very long to get what i would want to be done using their content builder i think this is if i'm just using you know their templates then i'd be using this and this isn't look this isn't beautiful <laughs> i'd have to do this then go and preview it then come back to edit it and it's just not a great workflow their content builder is better but it's just super slow i will show you their content builder because i have been dissing it a lot let's just let me just show you it in it so you can see what's going on you basically pick a template and then you go in and edit it did i pick a template i think i did so you can drag like images and that sort of stuff and I think the, the thing that just was not nice was like the text. It's actually not that slow. Let me take that back. Yeah, you can write text and all that sort of stuff. But I think I was just getting glitches. And I wasn't getting like things to be what I wanted it to be. Like, look at that. Like, it's coming out of it and all that sort of stuff. And where's the paragraph? How do I make it... See, I can increase the text size but i can't specifically make that a headline i have to add a headline thing which is fair enough sorry my alarm just went off you know what i take it back it's not that bad it's not that bad i've just been dissing it it's just it felt slow every time i used it but now maybe because i've updated my cpu my computer is a little bit faster i don't know so i i'm not saying it's that bad it's just thrive themes is just better for creating a fully fledged sales page this is usable but it's not the best in class but if you just wanted to buy one thing and go through and just create a simple sales page that had the checkout on it you could definitely use this and it wouldn't be that difficult or that hard so this also says you've got powerful features to help track your business convert more visitors into customers and increase the value of each purchase there yeah, you do get some good stats um i'm not going to go into my stats now because honestly i haven't really been selling a lot through samcart um i sell way more through send out and i haven't really been pushing my samcart products until this year and even then i'm not really pushing them as a front end item it's more people get to buy a product after they've signed up for a free thing and there's a limited amount of time that they can do that i will be when i add my course then i'll be fully promoting that so i've got very limited stats on here but it does show you like your conversion rate for example if they get to your sales page how many people actually then buy how many people got to your sales page which not your sales page my bad your checkout page which means they had to come from your sales page to get to your checkout page which is a bunch of different points that you need to basically be tracking and finding out what you need to be changing at that point so i haven't really looked super deep into that because i haven't really been focusing on my products that i'm selling through samcart but i do like the stats that i've seen and i do feel confident in moving forward and adding more products to samcart and actually using it more in the future and adding a full line of products since i've changed industries and have tried to move to a completely different thing i need to build my whole product line from the beginning again so that's what i'm going to be doing moving forward with samcart 
So here it says blend com content and commerce. Use our proven templates and drag and drop content builder to be create beautiful one click sales pages, checkout pages, and upsell pages that can double the profit you make from every sell. Fair enough. Potentially you can do that. Like having upsell, upsells and order bumps are things are features that some cart gives you that allows you to increase your average customer value or your average order value so for example let's say you've got a product called product a that's like seven dollars and people come to purchase that product you advertise that or you promote it or whatever and you've also got product b that's like 37 dollars. you can actually have that as an order bump on your thing so what that means is on your checkout page you'll see product a here and then down here you'll be able to click a button that will allow you to actually add product b to your shopping cart so you're able to buy two things at once so it's better if it's a related product that will actually help them do something uh quicker or enhance the first product in some way and it should also be discounted at that point of sale so you're allowing people to basically come through they come to the checkout page and they realize oh if i add this other product i'll get it as a discount at a discount if i buy it right now so you can basically give them a deal and entice them to actually purchase more and spend more than the seven dollars that they initially came to actually spend and then a, um a upsell is when after the person has actually purchased the first product there's another page that basically pops up and, and is like hey do you want to buy this other thing and you explain why they might want to buy this other thing generally it's going to be you know a little bit more expensive for example let's say the first product was seven dollars maybe this upsell is like 97 dollars or something but if it's 47 dollars, that's cool as well <laughs> so it's more expensive and you're like hey you know i know you bought that congratulations that's going to be great but this other thing can help you get your results you know three times faster or whatever because i'm giving you these templates or whatnot and you, you know whatever the value proposition is there you communicate it and at that point they only have to click the button once there's like a big button on the page if they click it then it's added to their order automatically they don't have to add their details again and then under there there's a, a link for them to click that says no i don't want to buy this or whatever so they can just get straight to their thank you page for the first item if they don't want to purchase the upsell i hope i've explained that very well to you i would show you how to how i've laid it out but it's just long and i'd have to blur out all the you know web addresses and all that sort of stuff so i'd, I'd rather not but basically samcart has those features and they're very very useful for making more money at once basically and increasing your average order value and helping people buy more stuff from you trust factors is basically oh it says eliminate last minute buying hesitation with customer customer convincing testimonials guarantees and more the and more is these signs <laughs> and these signs so that's basically what that is so yeah you can add testimonials and the guarantees as i showed you before most features found on e-commerce platforms focus solely on adding items to a cart that's true we focus on add-ons upsells and upgrades to make sure to increase the value of every order it's just a different way of doing the same thing basically but i guess the sales experience is a little bit different when you're going through you know the checkout page and the checkout page is what's giving people the the new orders kind of like what uh shopping like if you go to a food shopping provider or even amazon amazon on their their main sales page they'll have a bunch of related products but on shopping like i go to Ocado, and if you buy from them or even if you buy from Sainsbury's, which I used to go to, but I don't go there anymore because they messed up my my orders. No, they sent bad delivery people. I mean, like they came and then they didn't know how to find the flat and then they wouldn't listen to uh, instructions. And then they were just very belligerent and aggressive and I didn't want to deal with them anymore. Ocado, their delivery people are, you know, great people and they get stuff done. Basically with Ocado, 
when you go to the checkout page yeah when you add all the stuff to your basket and you go to checkout they then display a bunch of stuff like they're like here are your favorites or whatever these are the things that you might have missed out on don't you want to order these and then you have to click again to go to the next checkout page and then they're like oh do you want to check these things that like, these things are on offer you might like these things like loads of people grab these these stuff so they show you another page of a bunch of items that you might want and then you have to click to the next checkout page and then you finally get to the checkout page so that is an upsell and that's just a different way of selling you more stuff for example in a normal online store like if you was to use something like selfie you'd have a bunch of different products for example i could show you if we go to jcotarelo.com towards the store i believe that's my link i should have learned it capital as well yeah so here you can see a variety of products you can add them to cart like that you can add multiple products to your cart that's not the selling process that we've got in shepherd in um sam cart but something like a card or you know if you're ordering shopping online they have a mixture of this they have you know their whole store that you can add stuff to cart and then they have the upsells at the end which is honestly a great fusion of the two and you can do that with sam cart you just need to build your own page basically where you have all the main things that you're selling on display which i will be doing with um my courses in the future i have a page where they have all the courses and when you link when you click them it goes to the sales page and then you can read all the sales copy and then you can purchase it and then it will go to the sam cart checkout page so that's how that will work but here you can just add stuff to cart and this does have upsells as well although i haven't really i don't remember how that actually works i need to look into that a little bit more selfie does not have order bumps which is what i really really wanted and that's really really why i went to um sam cart to get those order bumps because a lot of services have upsells but they don't have the order bumps and they don't have it in a way in a way that looks attractive i can show let me i kind of need to show you an example so let me quickly do this so now we need to do blurring <laughs> but basically this is my youtube ranking secrets course that you can only get at this price if you sign up for something else and i believe you have to complete the offer within like seven days or whatever but basically this is an order bump so here I'm allowing you to get the YouTube for Noobs ebook at $47 instead of the $97 that it's sold for on my site and everywhere else. So we've got the main sales page giving you all the information on the main checkout page, giving you all the information, guarantee testimonials. And here's the order bump letting you know you can add this to your order. And now your order has both these two items in there. And then you just pay for that all at once so that's an order bump hope i've made that painfully clear so you understand what's going on there and that's a great way to to increase your average customer value or average order value so they do have subscriptions and payment plans i've showed you the payment plan i haven't used the subscription so i can't really speak on how that works the affiliate center they allow you to basically have affiliates which I'm, I don't think Selfy allows you to do that. Um, I know Sendow does allow you to do that. I haven't really used the affiliate center, so I can't really speak on that. But is there, this is basically talking about subscriptions again. You can integrate easily with your email and CRM stuff. I integrated my SAM card with ConvertKit. I also used zapier to integrate it with teachable you can create trial offers and i think the add to order is just the order bump i don't know why they've just called it a different thing but trial offers is really cool so basically what you can do is you can allow someone to pay like a dollar on a trial basis for like 14 days or seven days or whatever and then you can charge them the full price after or charge them the subscription price continually after that so it gets people in the door 
gets them to spend a little bit of money so you know they're in there a little bit and then allows them to experience the stuff so they realize how much value you're giving and then they get charged at a later date which is what a lot of companies do so it allows you to apply those business practices to your own business basically kind of like you know netflix when you sign up for netflix it's a seven day free trial or i think it's a 14 day free trial maybe even a month they give you a whole free trial. You can create free trials in some cart as well. And then after that free trial is up, you're automatically charged. So you have to actually go in there to cancel it. But after you charge the first time, if you've forgotten to do that or whatever, and you realize how much value it's giving to you, you're probably just gonna continue using it over time, which is the, the hope basically. And it's a good way to get more customers in. So, yeah that is definitely something you can do and then let's go through the features i believe the features basically everything i've just given you there they do have a b testing where did it oh they got a b testing on the upsells yeah they do have that which i haven't really used because i haven't really created my full product line yet so i haven't had the the time to do that or the opportunity to do that basically it hasn't been the time to do that so you can integrate with zapier basically which means you can integrate with a bunch of other stuff but you can integrate with convert kit straightforward and most email providers as far as i saw like mailchimp aweber i think you could probably yeah like active campaign infusion soft hubspot stuff like that you're able to use stripe and paypal and you can integrate with membership plugins like kajabi and wishlist member but i i don't use membership plugins so i can't really speak on that i've already talked about subscriptions i haven't talked about the subscriber saving dining feature which basically sends out emails to people who have like their subscriptions have basically bounced so let's say their card bounced so they didn't pay this month it lets them know yo you didn't pay or if they've yeah, not if they've cancelled. So if they if their thing just hasn't worked, it tells them to update their credit card info. You're able to make coupons, which I believe should be a standard with any sort of platform like this. It is a fast setup. You can create checkout pop-ups right from your website. You can do that. And you get SSL certificate on the checkout page, which may boost customer confidence and get them to you know buy more because they can see that everything's safe if you don't have a ssl certificate on your own website which you should have i've already made a video on how to get that for free check it out on my website and not check it out on the youtube channel i mean and yeah you get the dashboard which you can actually go into in-depth features like looking at refunds page views lifetime customer value and stuff like that but i haven't really use the stats that much so i'm not really going to get deep into that with you and customer support they basically answer within a day i found so if you've got a problem you can basically use this chat button talk to them or send an email and they'll get back to you within a day so you can get everything sorted out i had a problem where well i had something i wanted to change because my samcart was grownyoutube.samcart.com because that's what i was using samcart for all my grown youtube products but then i realized i wanted to move it move everything just under my brand name jcartarray.com so i i needed to contact samcart to actually get them to do it because i couldn't do it through the back end so they done that in like i think it was within 24 hours definitely within 48 and yeah i had to update all my links and all that sort of stuff which wasn't great but still they got back to me really really quickly and answered the questions that i had and helped me out of the situation that i was in they also do have a bunch of tutorials that you can just look through and training webinars and all that sort of stuff so that you can learn stuff and use some cart pretty efficiently so we've gone through everything basically let's go through the let me quickly glance over the integrations i was going to go through this content builder thing but there's no need to because i've already shown you how that works so let's check out the integrations these are things they integrate with i'm just going to scroll <laughs> so you can see there you go <laughs> just to check if you've got any of those things that you need to integrate with i think email is probably the most uh you might not care i don't know <laughs> so this is the pricing now they do they did have 
they have added a new pricing since I've started on this. I believe I'm on the $99 per month pricing, which used to be called Pro. Now they're calling it Grow. And they've got a launch pricing uh, per month. So it's $49, which is a lot nicer than just starting out and using $99, which is what it was before. It was only $99 and $199 for a little while. So here is it worth the 49 definitely 100 percent. is it worth the 99 that i'm spending on it yes for what i can see the potential to do in the future for me right now the 99 that i've been spending per month it hasn't been worth it for me because i haven't been promoting those products but it's definitely useful and definitely is something that i see a lot of potential in in its marketing suite and in what it can do and what i want to be able to do with my checkout platform so i i do believe in in getting this but i believe in getting this when you're ready to actively promote your products and whatnot don't just get it and have it in the background like i've been doing make sure that you're ready to get it. otherwise start on the 49 dollars per month tier but the thing with these tiers is some things obviously are not here so you can't have custom checkout fields if you're on $49. You can't have pre-purchase add-ons, which would be the order bumps. You can't have uh, upsells or multiple payment options, which is a little bit, mm, because the great thing about Samcart is the upsells and the order bumps and that sort of stuff. So you kind of need to get on this $99 per month package in order to get all that sort of stuff the admin users i don't think is probably very important to you because it's not very important to me customer management i'm unsure what that actually entails customer self cancellations i i'm a bit disappointed that they've put that only on this tier because i think that if your customer is able to subscribe to something you should make it so that they can cancel it as well without the store owner having to cancel it manually but that's not too much of a bad thing it's not gonna be that hard to cancel stuff and the affiliate center and all that sort of stuff is basically on the high priced monthly payment of 199 so if you want to if you're if you're ready to have an affiliate program like you're getting a bunch of sales you've got a bunch of customers buy a bunch i mean you know at least a hundred a month like you've got you've got a few hundred customers and you feel like having an affiliate program would make you more sales and they, they would refer other people, this would be a great place to get into because you'll have pretty much all the stuff that you need. So here they're saying the customer support, you'll basically get two days, they'll get back to you on the $49 per month tier. One day they'll get back to you on the $99 per month tier and they'll just get back to you really really quick if you're on 199 so all plans come with the checkout templates the integrations the checkout pop-up the con the coupons and the free ssl certificate which they should yeah they they it would be tragic if they try to sell you a tier without the ssl that would be really really silly but the thing is you can try it out for 14 days just go to growonyoutube.com forward slash samcart try it out for 14 days see if it's right for you and try out whichever plan you think you'd want to use and then if you try out the 49 dollar plan and you find you want some features that are on the 99 dollar plan uh, you can email them and i think they'll upgrade you to the 99 dollar plan on your trial so that you can check that out instead and you know so forth and so on so you can check out all the plans that you want but keep in mind that when that trial runs out you'll be on whatever plan you was on so if you want to try this out but you want to go back to the 49 dollar per month make sure that you email them and let them know that yeah you want to go back down to that or just i believe you can do it in in the back end and do it yourself but do i think this is worth the price yes because it has a lot of potential to make you more money the upsells the order bumps the cleanness of how it looks like it is very nice the templates are very nice the customizability of the templates is very straightforward and nice it doesn't give you too much control to allow you to mess things up 
but it gives you enough control to get your brand colors and whatnot in there so that things can look nice so that you can create a nice looking checkout page that actually converts as well and looks very clean so yes i would suggest getting this simply because it is a good checkout page builder for building the whole page and customizing stuff from the ground up i wouldn't suggest getting this at all but for using those templates and getting a sales page or a checkout page up really really quickly and being able to sell high ticket items or high ticket items so around 49 dollars and, and whatnot if you want to sell subscriptions then this is something to look into and to basically have the potential for upselling and order bumps so if you've got a roster of at least five items at varying prices maybe seven dollars then 27 dollars then or you know you can price it at whatever you want maybe it's nine dollars 29 and then 59 and then 99 and 159 on 259 whatever you've got a variety of different pricing structures this is great for you because you can order you can allow customers to come in at the low end and then end up ordering stuff from the high end because you you can give them an order bump you can give them an upsell you can give them down sales if they don't want those upsells if they're like no nah, i don't want to spend that much money you can then down sell them and give them something else that they might be interested in so it's very useful if you've got at least two products maybe three five would be a nice range to be in you can use this with one product but honestly if you just got one product it's not worth using this because you can't really use all the features like upsells and that sort of stuff so at one product i'd say use sendow which i'll leave a link to my review on sendow if that's out at the point of this but I'll leave a link to Samcart and send out in the description. If you've only got one product, you're not going to be using all this stuff. So it makes sense to use some, something that's way cheaper and something that just allows you to sell the product. You don't really need something super in depth. So yeah, that's Samcart. I think it's good. I think it's worth the price. I've, sh I've told you who it's for, what it can be used for. I've told you what it's not for. Who should not use it and this has been a long in-depth review i hope you've enjoyed it i hope it's helped you out if you've got any questions or any other reviews you want me to make please leave those in the comment section down below and in the next video you'll learn more about music online marketing and online business peace out i'll see you there